All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this ink text effect here in Illustrator. Now, in order to execute this correctly, you're going to need like a liquid font or an ink font or a rounded font. For this scenario, for example, I'm going to go with the Estrella font. It is a free typeface you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Okay, so first, let's go to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select the appearance. And we're going to go down here and add a fill. This is going to add a stroke and a fill. Make sure that you don't have anything on the stroke. Click on the none and we're going to work with the fill. I also going to recolor this and I'm going to go with this dark gray. And from here, we're going to duplicate the fill. So let's drag and drop the fill to the plus here. And let's go to the top fill and we're going to change up the color to black. Now let's go to the effects and we're going to go to the path and click on offset path. Now you can see it is going to make the font thicker. Instead, we're going to need to reduce the black. So we're going to go to the offset and decrease it. And we're going to go into the minus. I'm going to go all the way down to minus 15. So the black color is going to disappear from these really thin areas. I'm also going to go to the joins and change it to round. And click OK. Now I'm going to select this fill again. Let's go to the effects. Blur. And select Gaussian Blur. And right now this is the default blur. Now make sure to increase the blur. So this way the top black font is going to look really soft. Click OK. Now I'm going to go and select this black fill and drag and drop to the plus to create another duplicate. And we're going to go to the fill color and I'm going to change it to white. Basically this is going to create the bright area but we're going to need to push this a little bit on the right. So we're going to go to the effects. Let's go to the store and transform and select transform. And we're going to work with the horizontal. I'm going to increase it a little bit. And I'm also going to go to the vertical and decrease it. And it's going to push this light area. Click OK. I also can reduce the strength of this light area. So let's go to the offset path. And I'm going to decrease it more and check this out. Now it's going to reduce it even more. I'm going to try it out with minus 23. Click OK. And I'm going to go back to the transform. And I'm going to push it even further maybe like that, click OK. You also can go to the Gaussian Blur and mess with it a little bit. For example, I'm going to make it a little bit more softer maybe, click OK. I'm going to go with 7.6 and I'm going to go back to the fill, the black fill and I'm going to add another transform on this. Let's go to the store and transform, select transform and I'm going to push this into the opposite direction. So this is going to go like minus six and I'm going to push it down, maybe seven, click OK. So this way it's going to look a little bit more realistic. And pretty much this was it. Thanks for watching.